Morning, Wood. We got you. You got us. So about last night. So I, 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 I want to be more forthcoming about this. I don't want to have to worry about what I'm saying, blah, blah, blah. But also, I was telling you. Well, the backstory yeah. is that we're, we're going to be throwing a party. You're all invited. Mm -hmm. If you can find us. And Save the date when we announce it. And it, and it gets into one of those old sitcom bits where you have a couple of, in most cases, girlfriends, but worlds where you're the two worlds, the two girlfriends suddenly cross paths at the same time in the same restaurant and the guy's shuffling, even changing clothes in the in the bathroom yes. and, and going to one side of the restaurant and then to the other. Classic 70s sitcom <laughs> material, yes. But it's so, and then they did it in Tootsie when, oh, you know, yeah. when he was, uh, yeah, anyway. God, your memory for this stuff. Scenes you're good at. I'm good at remembering <laughs> directors and actors' names, but you're good at scenes. When they're so well done. And so we were thinking, could you, could Bobby invite both of his worlds into one party and entertain them all, but he'd have to say, you can't go up on the deck. Why? Well, I, uh, it's closed for repairs, and you have your, your one world up here and another world. So you were talking about a circumstance in your past where you oh, actually yeah, high had school. that happen. Yeah, yeah, I was uh, uh, an exchange student. They had an exchange program, and so my senior, uh, some of my, before my senior year, got to go to England with a bunch of people from my school, and then the people that we stayed with in England came to visit us in March. Which, why they want to come to Chicago in March, you know, is anybody's guess, but it's how it was. So, I had a girlfriend at the time. I mean, I was ambivalent. As I always am about my fucking girlfriends, I'm always ambivalent. This has been going on for time immemorial. So, but there was an English gal that, you know, because we were doing stuff, yeah, field trips. Wait, the girlfriend you just said, I the had girlfriend. a girlfriend in quote, that was from Chicago? Yeah, that was in high school. So, so yeah, a, a yeah. local yeah. that, we, you know, with the classic right. long distance romance. Right, okay. right, right. Well, not long distance. No, I mean, she went to my high school. So we were in high school. Well, but, but you we were, were in so England for a while. Just like for her month in the summer. Well, that was the previous long, yeah, summer. That's a and long we weren't distance. actually together. No, actually, I that trip, one of the gals I was on the, ex I had a complicated sexual life. One of the gals I was, that was on the exchange program, we were dating. And then she broke up with me during the trip and started going out with my best friend. Well, that's, that's another sitcom right <laughs> making. So you had ended things with high school sweetheart. No, no. So flat, so now we're, we're in March. The kids from England are now in Chicago or Skokie. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're doing all sorts of stuff, field trips, different kinds of stuff. And I just got smitten, and she, you know, with this one gal. She got smitten with me, and we started, you know, a little thing. And uh, there was, a, and we had a party at my house, and we had a basement. And I remember one scene in particular. I had invited my girlfriend. Um, this is the and girlfriend. This is the, the high school, school girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. To the party, right? Where your new. Smitten. I got. I just flashed her name in my head. But, and it was very similar to sure. what I have now. I mean, you know, we all, we had friends together and they were at the party too. A lot of the English kids were downstairs. I was downstairs with Robbie and Sandra was upstairs. We As I remember once is, saying, that was the English guy. Okay. Yeah. Robbie. Yeah, Robbie. Say yes. it and, that, and then we know yeah. what it is. Robbie. And now I have a Robin. Isn't that funny how that works? <laughs> For Robbie was downstairs yes she was down let me she had to come up i mean but Change, i remember chained to the radiator sandra was sitting next to my mom and she was kind of tearing up because i wasn't paying attention to her did she, she didn't know about the other girl she didn't know she didn't know but she knew i wasn't there you know but i, I don't i think we broke up soon after and, and I have to say... And soon after that again. And then soon after no, that No, no, that one's... You know, I was much better at, at landing <laughs> and sticking stick, my lands. Stick. But, you know, not so good anymore. I'm sticking really, the ending, I guess it would be. Yeah, yeah. I have wow. a hard time with endings. <laughs> Did ever the twain meet? They must have met. I mean, it, was a, like, it wasn't a huge me, I'm party. I'm another you know. beer in the fridge or... Well, we were in high school. So we had to... Yeah, I, so yeah, excuse yeah. me, I need to get another... <laughs> 1974. Really, really bad Mickey's Big Mouth beer. In the oh, jeez. Well, I know it would have been Schlitz. Paps. Paps. Oh, Paps, yeah. Well, I still like Paps. That's Old Milwaukee? Would, would you oh, God. Oh. With Old Milwaukee and Chicago? 
Uh, is that and there was Ham's good. Ham's beer. Was it on the West Coast? Ham's, I'm sure. Okay, Ham's the beer, beer refreshing. Be. Ham's the beer refreshing. Ham's I remember going to this one restaurant now. Diorama. You know where they have like the oh, plastic yeah. and you have the light my, behind my it. My aunt had all of those beer lights. Uh, <laughs> A teetotaling, <laughs> absolutely sweetest old maid of an aunt and. She had a good friend who owned a liquor distributor. Wow. And I don't know why she decided to have them. They were so cool. And as kids, we'd come in and, you know, the ham's bear. Yeah, yeah. You know, he a cute bear. And yeah. He was a cute bear. All those real hinky, old school. I don't know where they ended up. But man, well, there's, you know, there's a booth at the fair. When you go Friday, you're, as you're walking in, you'll have to check it out. OC Fair. Yeah, OC Fair. About, are, the OC are they fair. selling them? Or are they yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, no, they're, just, they're selling them. They're there every year, and you know, the, I, I, and they've got beer taps as well. You know, for the home for the home. Are they scene. legitimate vintage ones? Or just you know, updated? there's new, and I think there's a legit. Yeah, I think there's a legit vintage as well. But, it, but as you were saying, the ones that had in motion, like showing the beer, like. Yeah, or like a waterfall. Or, yeah, cascade. Amazing. And I think you're right. There's a waterfall, and then it ends up in the beer. <laughs> and it, just but and then for and as kid, and I, they were in restaurants. It was like you know, I wasn't in a bar. I was sitting in a restaurant at a table, and they're on the wall in the restaurant. That and was the that was part I, of the fern bar look. Exactly. And 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 it was fascinating. I mean, I always liked that kind of shit. Anyway. I always liked lights. I always liked neon. You know, and so something like that was just really catnip. And uh, it was like you know. So you've never been to the, or maybe you have been to the Vegas, the Vegas, the Vegas uh, Neon Museum. The you know, boneyard of neon. Of course, I lived in Vegas 15 years. It was always in development. What they would do, they had a, they had the graveyard for a long time. They didn't have the funding to make it into a museum, which was what the goal was. Well, they still so, don't have the right funding. Is it? So it's yeah. really cool, but the thing that they're missing the boat on, which mm. you just, it's almost like unfathomable that it doesn't do this yeah but it's got to be tell me they're not on they're not on <laughs> it's exactly right but what they do is they'll they'll put them on fremont fremont east though they have it scattered in the fremont eh? what what do you mean no this the is all no the ones from the museum they still have they'll put them on this but they're not on display on the actual buildings they're like Signs. I well, mean, like, meant, like they've the, got the cowboy at the museum yeah. itself. You're walking around, and there's probably thirty or fifty of them, and they only have one lit. It's it's crazy. And so I don't know who's. I don't know. You're going by, and you're going. It's cool. I love looking at this. It's it's very iconic, but it's not. I don't know lit. how they never got funding. I swear the to money, God, I was there fifteen years. That was a story for the whole fifteen years I was there. Then. And and so, like I said, they started, well, you know, we've got these things, we've got this graveyard, but we can't open it up to the public yet, so we'll, we'll put them back on display. And then they were lit up, and it was really, they're really cool. I love that show. And I, and of course, did you go to, did you, you didn't go to Vegas as a kid, did you? Like, your, your parents didn't go to Vegas. Yeah, did yeah, I, I learned how not to gamble as I watched my parents, each one of them, one after another, win a jackpot as they were teaching us. <laughs> they were inside. We were right oh, on the periphery. Oh, on that gate. Oh, I remember. And we yeah. were not allowed to be in. Right, but we could right. watch them oh. run. And they, and oh, they wanted God. to show us, you know, the gambling is fun. You take a certain amount of money, and then but this, you don't, watch how I, I lose all this money. And my my dad hit a jackpot, and he and uh, he's like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, and my mom, smart as she yeah. was, she goes, no, watch, no, I'm gonna take his money, which is kind of <laughs> what moms do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> And watch how I put this into another machine, and I'll end up losing yeah. it all. But it's okay. We just came here to have fun. And she he hits a jackpot, and my brother and I are like, we can't wait till we <laughs> get to be 21 to do this. And then fast forward, for the, my, her 21st birthday, we're just living at residence in Vegas, and we take the thing we do to celebrate it at, at midnight is to get her to a, I think we did roulette. My wife liked roulette. So we went to Red Rock Station, because that was the closest to our house. And at 12 o'clock, she got to place a bet. And that was, 
and the beginning she of her birthday. Win? <laughs> she did. She won. She ended up playing a little bit. Wow. We were well, and my wife was, you know, she was pretty good at roulette too. I was never good at anything. Get, well, I mean, I guess you, you know, get it's good just, at anything. I don't, I don't know. know. It's just you, you just have a feeling. I don't know what what goes into that shit. I I don't know. Well, you have a I would like number, and then they hit the number. Well, yeah, well, you know, you always have if you play do that kind of stuff regularly, or if you do lottery, whatever. You have your favorite numbers: yeah, birthdays, yeah. anniversaries, yeah, yeah. you know. I mean, I can things. see you do the black and red thing, or evens and odds, or whatever, where it's just literally a game of 50 50 right. chance. Right, almost, right. But, well, uh, you could play, and you could play different. You I know, know it, bets no, like I, that, which is, I never got into craps. It's I like did, you know, it's like the baby craps. I guess you know, it's like you could play in the sandbox here, but yeah. I, you know, I've always been afraid of craps. Now we're getting into. It's like this is going to be uh, like a podcast. Craps is, we're doing our podcast on morning wood. Oh, craps. That's great. But, do you? but, but yeah, I do. I, really? We have, we have, we have, we I learned I want to watch I, you play. I learned when I was 21 at a table, an off, off, off Vegas table where there was uh -huh. nobody there. And, you know, good Oh, that's dealers, a good way to do it. They yeah. watched the two of us and they said, come on, guys, we're going to teach you how to. And, and it was wow, literally our coming awesome. about. I had just turned 21. My buddy had, was a little older. He had turned 21 six months earlier. He had gotten out of the army. We were driving back from him. His uh, not deployment, what do they call it? His chargement. <laughs> and we learned how to play craps, just the two of us. And this wow. guy was so cool. You place these bets here, and I got hooked ever since. Not that I played a lot, because I don't gamble, but uh, it's a good game. Well, was your friend deployed in any? No, it was just, okay. it was during the. Uh, that's interesting, though. See, no, it was. Oh, no, that's it was right. That one, it was after. Yeah, 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 it was post Vietnam. Yeah. Well, no, I'm sorry. It was post. Uh, you never had to do the lottery. I'm going to give away you? my age. <laughs> you never had to do the lottery, did you? No, I, I did for really. Oh yeah, I was or way, maybe it was coming. Up. I don't young. know. I think it was a year. I think it stopped right before. Right. Yeah, that I'm was way fancy. Too young. Well, yeah, right. I know. But I do have to say this about I'm I, the grandpa on the I'm show. Employing all of the Vegas casino owners, please just slice off a little bit of your billions over the Boneyard uh, Neon Museum. Yeah, make it something. I mean, well, they don't much, want people to leave the casino. It's like. But they well, should be able to. I know there I should. Know, but it's just, it, how it's, much could it cost? They did the fucking mob museum, which I haven't gone to. But that was like <laughs> they, they got one. a gazillion fundings. And it's only a couple museum. blocks from the mob museum, so I mean it's right there. It's, like, it's Vegas, baby. And the thing is, it's, Neon is it's, Vegas. It's so Spartan that is not done up. There's not a lot of money. It's just a shack with a dirt yard and all. It looks like you're walking through a junkyard. I don't know what they spent. But, they were, they did fundraising. Know, really. Jeez. How you could have to make yeah. fun, well for the rent. Well, that's what happened in Irvine too. But a gazillion. But, yeah, go but ahead. the the point is, yes, you wouldn't have to gussy it up. The whole point of the museum would be the lights, the the dazzling yes, lights exactly. of Vegas. And exactly. I'm not so sure. We should look it you up. Want? It's been almost ten years, maybe seven or so. Maybe they've yeah, got maybe, the funding and they're living it because that. Well, we gotta check That it would out, be yeah. such a thing yeah. to have, or maybe it's too bright. We should, when we'll you're do a show from there. from there. Hey, speaking of shows, of shows, shows, of shows. You know, look forward to a hopefully you know nice announcement about this show coming up. I know we've made you a lot of promises. I know, but we're really gonna try. See, that's what we're talking. You know, we're gonna we're, we're going we're gonna go with the bang on this one. So we're gonna have egg on our face. We're gonna, we are going to be propelled to do something just because we don't want to be embarrassed. Well, because Sex Caliber died on the vine. Well, Sex Cal, yeah, we, we, well, let's not. <laughs> but I had sex tonight. Look it up. So, yeah. Does that count as a Sex Caliber conqueror? And I had sex both nights, inter, you know, on the on the flip, and we like played checkers this weekend. Because huh? you did Sunday, I did Saturday, oh, and Monday. I, I, that's yeah. a, I and I did two different things. I thought it was a new kinky uh, maneuver, and, and, the checkers yeah, position. Two of my heels. Where you hop over her while she uh, oh, yeah, crowns the, your... <laughs> it's a little dangerous. I don't recommend amateurs do it. but Check you know, mate. But you can try one of those trapeze things they use at Cirque du Soleil. Or, or the chair. But just find a different way. Instead of you know sitting on it, you're kind of like, I don't know. There must be a way to use that chair for something like that. You know the chair? Well, it's swingers clothes, you know. Yeah, or it's, yeah, you know, I know, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, for another day. Yeah, yeah. The pussy chair, we'll call it. Anyways, well, we've really, uh, I think it's been a good show, though. I hope you liked it. I hope anybody out there is watching. But if you're not, shame on you. Yeah, we went way it's over. It's a Shonda. Bye. You owe us more money for this show. <laughs>